Welcome to another instructional video from Vacon. In this one, we will be talking about the Drive Customizer tool, which you can access from our website. Vacon Drive Customizer is a block programming tool which allows you to easily make the kind of small application changes that would previously have required a call out to a qualified programmer. While you will need a certain level of understanding in order to use Drive Customizer, it is more user friendly than the Drive programming tool. For instance, you won't have to learn source codes, and basic PLC programming skills should be sufficient for use. Let's assume you have Vacon Live installed on your computer and that the PC is hooked up to your Vacon AC drive. When the pop up box appears, select the drive from the list. Vacon Live will then start to upload the relevant parameter. With the Drive Customizer, the user can select a default list of parameters that can be changed when needed. Once this group has been uploaded to Vacon Live, the Drive Customizer can be opened. You'll know this has happened because the Drive Customizer icon will appear in the toolbar at the top of the screen. To create a program or set of parameters, click on the icon and the programming mode window will open with a series of function blocks each with three inputs and one output. Here, you can run up to 10 different function blocks at any given time. By right-clicking on one of the blocks, a drop-down menu can be opened, from which you are able to select different functions, such as logic gates and comparisons. These 10 blocks can either be combined or connected to each other, or, alternatively, you can make the block output act as a virtual analog or digital input for the drive. To give an example of what can be done in the programming mode window, let's play around with it a bit. Each block has a set of different functions that can be used, such as gates, mathematic functions, comparing functions, and so on. From the drop-down menu, one of the options is GT, which stands for greater than. This compares inputs. Here, input 1 and input 2 so that when input 1's value exceeds that of input 2, the output block of 1 will become positive. Once the function has been selected, it's possible to start setting the input values. This can be done by clicking on input 1 and selecting which value and parameter settings to use. The desired monitoring value or parameter can be identified from the list of ID numbers. Here, analog input 1 has been selected. Then compare this to a constant fixed value, which is selected by right-clicking and selecting constant from the drop-down menu. Then a value needs to be selected. This time, let's enter 1000. Since the parameter ranges from 0 to 10,000, 1000 makes up 10% of the capacity. So when the analog input is greater than 1000, the output will become positive. Since the Drive Customizer is still in Drive Programming mode, if we try to activate it, or try to change the analog input value, it will not react, whatever happens. The Disable Programming Mode icon in the top left corner needs to be clicked to remove it. Once clicked, the screen turns gray and no settings can be changed. By clicking this blue icon in the Parameter Browser toolbar, the values can be monitored directly. So from here, it can be seen that the value is changing. So long as the value remains below 1000, the output will stay inactive at zero. However, when analog input 1 is turned up a bit more to take it above 1000, we can see the output go to 1. The drive is still inactive since the signal hasn't been given to the start command. Activating the drive can be done from the Parameter Browser window in the list of digital input options. By selecting Control Signal 1A, the Start command is selected in slot 1A. This is now the first digital input on the control board and will be designated as Block Output for Block Number 1, once OK is pressed. Now to demonstrate this, we can also check it from the analog monitoring signals. When the Special Type Editor window appears, select Output Frequency for monitoring and then select the analog input. Now Monitor 1 is selected 
and a monitor window will appear, in which we can view the trends occurring within the selected set of monitoring values. The green line indicates the value of the analog input, while the red line shows output frequency trends. This will also show that the motor is getting speed reference in order to turn. When the start command is activated, the run indicator will turn green. When we try to change the analog input, you can see the value goes up, but the run remains still gray, and the red line remains rooted at 0 Hz. However, when it reaches that 10% level, the value which is being monitored, analog input 1 in this case, turns green, and we start to feed a frequency reference to the motor so that it is turning. When the frequency drops below that level, the motor stops. Of course, this is just one example out of hundreds of different functions available in Drive Customizer. To learn more, speak to one of our training guys about how you and your Vacon product can benefit from it. Thanks for listening.